there's no doubt that travellers are exposed to a whole lot of risks to their health that they would not experience at home. They're not necessarily related to the number of infectious diseases they could contract or other factors intrinsic to their location that they're going to. Often it's because they're in an environment they're, not, they're just not used to. The classic example is, is of, a, of a patient, or a, a traveller with uh, pulmonary disease who, who might go to somewhere that's very mountainous and climb mountains, or they might go to San Francisco and simply go out for a walk, and they're challenged by climbing up hills. And then, of course, clearly there are lots of places in the world where there is infectious disease that you wouldn't experience at home. And so travellers need to make sure that they're properly protected before they travel. If you can be vaccinated against some of these illnesses before you travel, you should make sure that you are. These cases are all unpredictable. I mean, the thing is, nobody plans to go away and get ill or get injured. And so these all come out of a clear blue sky for a lot of our insured, a lot of our members. The sad truth is that people who travel without proper insurance, without proper cover, can suffer tremendous consequences of, of that. Not only might they not have access to high quality health care where they become ill, almost certainly wouldn't be able to afford evacuation and ongoing care and at the end of that repatriation. So good insurance provides access to the best levels of care available regionally, but also the ability for the insurer, the assistance companies and other people to step in and be their advocates and, uh, and evacuate them from, from areas where they just can't receive the right care.